Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel, Skyrim, and the main quest line. So we've taken Nesburn to Aldwyn's Walden Skyhaven Temple, but all this has done is opened up more mysteries, such as the Shout Dragonrend. What is it? Where to learn it? Delphine has rather reluctantly asked us to speak to the Greybeards to find out what they know. So we're going to trot off to have a nice little chat with Arngir. We're also going to meet Parthenax himself and get two shouts. If you don't have any spare Dragon Souls, don't worry, these are free gifts, baby. That's right, they're free. Now, this is a lore intensive quest, so I'm going to keep it to the bare minimum and only include the bits that are important and will move the quest forward. Now, if I didn't do this, the video would be well over 30 minutes long. But if enough people want me to do a video with a full dialogue, I'll be happy to do so. It's up to you, of course, but I do strongly recommend that you go through all the dialogue yourself, as you'll get a whole heap of lore and a rich blanket of Skyrim's history that explains so much. Well worth doing, in my opinion. So, okay, let's do this thing. Okay, here we are at High Hrothgar, and uh, you may have noticed something different about Neve. She's carrying Ruin's Edge, and uh, yes, I succumb to the <laughs> Creation Club. Uh, but I do love this bow. Um, I've smithed it to a ridiculous level. So with all my uh, uh, archery perks and enchantments, uh, boy, it does some damage. Anyway, so into High Hrothgar, go and find Arngir. Sky. Now I've cut a lot of this out. Sky above. That's the one thing you have to ask is, I need to learn... Where did you learn of that? ...the Who shout, how to you defeat Alduin. Now he is going to basically um, throw all sorts of obstacles in your way. Just go through the dialogue any way you want to. Uh, keep going through it to get to the bits, uh, so you won't help me. No, not now. And Angier not say no. You return to the path of wisdom. And then Angier gets a spanking from one of the other greybeards, telling that he must help us. Dragonborn, wait. Now forgive me, I was in temper. Okay, he's going to apologise uh, now. Um, so Master, you just I carry on through the dialogue until you get to the, uh, the spot where you can say, I need to speak to Parthenax. Okay, so I need to speak to Parthenax then. But thanks to the blades. You now have and he'll reluctantly agree um, for you to uh, see him. And the next uh, important bit of dialogue is how do I get to the top of the mountain to meet Parthenax? So when that dialogue opportunity opens up, um, how do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Um, he's now going to offer us uh, to teach us a new shout, uh, which is a clear sky shout. Quite handy, actually, in a rainy Skyrim. I also take this opportunity to ask if he's located uh, any other words of power. So we'll be doing that next. And this one's at Autumn Watch uh, Tower, which is, I believe, the mark for death shouts, which is quite handy. Not one I use it often, though. Anywho, make your way outside. Come straight up here. Angier takes his time. So I'll quickly skip to when he's uh, actually going to bother turning up. Come on, Angier, get moving. God's sake, move it, man. And you just cannot get to the uh, the throats of the world until you've actually learnt this shout. And learn all three of them. Ah, job done. 
This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. And therefore, you don't need the Dragon Souls to uh, activate this one. Okay, so uh, let's lock and load. Key up clear skies. And let's go. You see the damage you get when you try and go through. So, here you go. And they say the path of paradox is, is really uh, uh, path of next. Sorry, is is uh, is difficult. It's not particularly difficult. Well, I guess if you're a low level, it could be tricky. I hate myself for using Creation Club, but I do like this Ruin's Edge uh, bow. Yeah. Uh, okay, just wait for your shout to recharge. I'll show you the whole trip up, up uh, this path, because this no. is the only, the only thing that's uh, of any real danger to you. But it's really straightforward. And sometimes, just like then, you can push your way through a little bit of uh, the fog. Oh, it's the first. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Janice. Uh, that's the first ice wraith you've got to deal with. And there's a troll. Bosh. <laughs> Absolutely mullered him. Okay, just carry on up. Yeah. I mean, it's, easy. it's very easy. Yeah. I'm not one of these people who kill the goats or foxes either. In fact, I always try and rescue foxes if I can. Another ice wraith here. I'll really balls this one up. Run on past. I just can't get the third person uh, combat right in Skyrim. It's just not that intuitive. This is what I pay Genesis for. And I'm so used to using my bow as well, I always forget to pull out my sword. Or destruction spells, which is what really is the best way to deal with the ice race. Anyway, keep on running up. left here at this marker and this is the last little one here and bosh you're in I love how she runs with the uh, when she's got a bow out <laughs> that quiver is awesome though A little bit of a glitch uh, with, with those, but I'll, I'll go through that in the video when I do Ruin's Edge and uh, a couple of other mods that I download for Creation Club. And here he is, the man himself, Parthenax. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? 
Okay, go through the dialogue with him, uh, then he'll ask you to yes, uh, learn Azar, a word so you can you continue talking to him. But there are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum, feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dover King. Why do you intrude here, if not for Tifa? Okay, pop over to the word wall. And learn the word, and the word is fire breath. Understand fire as the Dove do. As the Dove do. And he gives you a soul, so you can equip it. And down to fire breath here. Okay, don't worry about it, he gave you the salt. Put the salt. Okay, equip it. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. There you go. Ah, oh, yes. Sosedova. Oh, yes. The dragon <laughs> blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do is, is jump right ahead here. There's a huge amount of dialogue I'm skipping now, as I have done all the way through, to be fair. Um, so I strongly recommend you go through it all. Um, what you want to do is keep going through all the dialogue, learn as much as you can, all the lore, the history, etc., etc., until you get to this point. How does any of this help me? So what he's done, a lot of the dialogue is about an Elder Scroll, uh, he's asking you to bring it back to him. As you know when you do this yourself. The Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Okay, that's completed the Throats of the World. Now, so you ask him, where can I find an Elder Scroll? What has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. So you get the option of talking to Esben or Arngir. Personally, I always go with Arngir. I like the uh, Greybeards. Not particularly enamoured with the Blades. I think Delphine's a bit of a git. So we've got one more quest where it's all lore and dialogue driven uh, before we can start really getting to the mayhem, but we have to do it. But anyway, off to have a little chat with Arngir and job done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.